This is Liam Stack for the New York Times. This market was a Syrian landmark before the conflict. This is what it looks like now. This week is the two-year anniversary of the protests in Daraa that began the uprising in Syria. As more than one million people have fled the country and another two million have been left homeless, the government of President Bashar al-Assad has barred most journalists from entering the country to work. Digital video uploaded by amateurs has never been so pivotal to the way a conflict is understood. Uploaded from across Syria, in this case with the help of a car battery, this footage is our most consistent insight into what is happening on the ground. Watching Syria's war, an ongoing New York Times project, tries to make sense of this flood of videos. There is a great deal about them that we simply do not know. This one, for example, claims to show the final video made by an activist filmmaker in Aleppo. We do not know for sure if this man was killed by the blast or not. We do know that these limited snapshots are often our only source of information about atrocities, weapons, and destruction in Syria. Some are taken by civilians with cell phone cameras who happen to be caught in the wrong place at the wrong time. Others are taken by activist videographers who choose to take great risks to ride into the heart of conflict. Here, a victory by opposition fighters over a military helicopter is recorded by four different cameras. As the rebels' digital media work has grown more sophisticated, the Assad regime has responded through its own channels, harnessing the power of state media. While some videos recorded by pro-government paramilitary groups are too gruesome to include here, other state-produced videos attempt to humanize the government's efforts. Even as videos like these document rebel successes two years in, the government retains a significant military advantage. There are far more anti-government videos posted online than videos that support President Assad. Nevertheless, this flood of footage reminds us that cruelty is not the exclusive province of either side. And these videos are likely to remain our primary window into the Syrian conflict for the foreseeable future.